Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Ramona Remesat here with the Daily Angel Guidance Message. We finally made it to Friday. What a week. Whew. And it is December the 1st, which just blows my mind. I can't even believe that this year has gone as fast as it has. But again, I say that every single year. So anyways, today uh, I'm going to be working with the Magical Unicorns Week because felt like after the week that I've had, that a lot of other people have had, we need something fun and magical. So let's go ahead with that. And the card for today is talk about your feelings. Talk about your feelings. And I kind of been doing that all week, haven't I? <laughs> Sharing you with my uh, my story of some frustration and anger and all of that. So really, you know, we don't have a healthy outlet for our feelings, specifically what I'm talking about are things like anger or sadness or hopelessness or despair, or those kinds of things. And, um, you know, we tend to stuff those things away because they're not so great feelings, right? And we don't want to deal with that, especially if we have feelings that we're holding on to from in the past that are particularly painful. We don't want to bring those to the surface and take a look at them. I mean, who would, right? But if you stuff them, then sooner or later, they're going to come to the surface. You know, if you think about sweeping dirt under the carpet, right? It's okay for a little while, but after a while, you're gonna see that hump. You know, you're not fooling anybody, right? And we stuff all those feelings deep down inside and we think they're gone forever, but what actually happens is they start to create a lot of dis-ease within the body. And if you leave it unchecked, that can manifest physically as a disease or some kind of condition or physical manifestation. And we don't want that to happen. So talking about your feelings is actually a really healthy way to get them out, right? <clears throat> and this specifically says, tell a friend how you feel, right? Sometimes, you know, maybe you don't feel like you can share some stuff with a friend. And so, you know, if you don't feel like that's an option, you can write, that's very, very helpful to write things out in a journal or somewhere, or even, you know, if you're angry or mad or something, you can write a letter, you know, not necessarily with the intent of sending it, but write it out or write a letter to yourself. You know, if you're angry and mad at yourself or you're beating yourself up for something or you feel guilty for something and holding on to those emotions, you know, write a love letter to yourself and be gentle with yourself. So these kinds of things that you can, do so you can write, you can talk to a friend, right? You can express yourself through art. You know, we've heard of this whole movement of art therapy. So, you know, go to the art supply store and get a really cheap canvas, some paint and just paint it out or even just grab a piece of, you know, white sheet of paper from the printer and grab some pens or something and scribble or whatever it might be as a way to release those feelings or express your feelings. So writing, like I said, is great. Talking to a friend is great. Art therapy is great. Um, getting outside, if you can, is great. Um, if you live in an, by an ocean, oh my gosh, the ocean is amazing for helping to remove all of that stuff that we're holding on to. So going for a swim in the ocean. If you don't live near the ocean, you've heard me say this, have a bath, throw some sea salt in. And if you can't take a full bath, put a basin with some hot water and throw the sea salt in there and just soak your feet. So there's lots of different things that you can do to help you um, to share and release those feelings so you're not stuffing them away. Because like I said, that's gonna only, you think you're, you're getting away with it, but it's going to catch up with you on the back end. And that's not what you want, right? So hopefully that um, is helpful. So talk to your, talk about your feelings today. Good morning, Colleen. How are you? Um, you know, I was just talking about how we don't have a healthy way to deal with our feelings, right? Too many times we stuff them down. So it's time now to release those in whatever shape or form works for you, whether it is talking to a friend, whether it's writing, journaling, doing art, you know, art therapy or something like that. Um, to release your feelings or taking a sea salt bath, going outside, grounding yourself. There's so many different ways. It's just picking one that works for you. So make sure you do that because, you know, stuffing is the easy option. Just kind of turn a blind eye to it or say, I'm going to get over it. But you never really get over it, right? It's still simmering there under the surface. And people these days are walking around harboring things that happened years ago that they haven't dealt with. And, you know, obviously, 
talking to somebody like a counselor or therapist is also beneficial because some people feel like they could get over it and then, like I said, they're carrying that baggage around. And you know what? If you could get rid of it on your own, you would have by now. So if you've got something that's long standing that you're still dealing with, that's probably a good sign that you need to speak to somebody who can offer you more in the way of some counseling or therapy to help you with that. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we don't do it alone, right? <laughs> it takes a lot of people for who are around us that can support us and help us. If you're sick, you don't question going to the doctor. So if you have an emotional issue that you're having difficulties with, there's nothing wrong with reaching out to a counselor or therapist. So don't feel, you know, there's anything wrong with that. Unfortunately, there is still stigma with that, but um, it's wonderful. You know, my daughter had such great results working with a therapist last year, and it's the daughter I have today is night and day compared to how she was a year ago. So we're so grateful for, you know, what she was able to achieve with her therapist. So anyways, I am off to the gym. I wanted to jump in real quick this morning and share this with you because it's a busy, busy day today for me. So Talk about your feelings, guys. Grab your girlfriend, go for a coffee or tea, go for a walk, take out a journal, get a piece of paper, get some colored markers or something and draw your feelings or whatever it takes. Just don't stuff them in, okay? Today's the day to start, take that lid off of the can and let it all out. And trust me, you're gonna feel so, so much better, right? You're gonna release all that stuff and you'll feel lighter, right? It's like you don't have to carry around that baggage anymore. So that's it. Have a fabulous weekend, everybody, and uh, this is your last chance, well, not last chance, but because I'm going to be making some very key announcements and you don't want to miss out, get on my list so that you know about it. It's RamonaRemesat.com forward slash free gift. That's R-A-M-O-N-A-R-E-M-E-S-A-T.com forward slash free gift. That way you'll be on the list so as soon as I announce everything, you're going to get it. And you'll also get my free video series, The Three Essential Steps to Getting Anything You Want in Life, which is really cool. It's kind of like a recipe for manifesting. So I want to share that with you. And uh, make sure you grab that. So we'll see you on Monday for another Daily Angel Guidance message. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody.